the rest of the trip, we followed the Wakayama 800 coastal road, uh, heads along the coast, heading north to our final destination, which was Wakayama. Put the Skydio up with the newest firmware, which allows it to track up to 30 meters away, up from the previous five meters. Looks kind of cool, tracking me from over the Seto inland sea. Don't rely on others to get you through the maze The dreams are not the same for me Standing by the shore While you're on This location has a massive white limestone rock uh, and it's designated as one of Japan's special shorelines in the summer, this is pretty popular as a diving spot. At the huge limestone rock, there was a little display that showed the damage that was done during the typhoon that hit during the Rugby World Cup. The place was absolutely destroyed. We got here quite late. I wasn't sure if this was our hotel or not. Uh, turns out this place is pretty spooky. Um, it's got the furniture left in it. It's got the counter where you check in. Um, it's got the vending machines. Um, yeah, it's a full on hotel. We can look at the bar over there, but there's just nobody in it. Fortunately, our hotel was next door and the food was epic. The sashimi was ace, the cooked fish was brilliant. No idea what the fish was, but it would have been straight from the ocean onto our plate. The first 30 kilometers on the second day was brilliant. We drove along the Mikan Dori, which is where they grow all of the Mikan or mandarins. We came across this really cool little village with a soy sauce factory and museum there. Very, very cool, really old fashioned Japanese. Uh, they had a sake brewery there as well, really cool. We came across this fishing port. I've no idea what this fish is, so if anybody knows, leave a comment below. The last 35 kilometers was a bit dull. We did come across some quite nice shrines though. This is the resting place of Emperor Murakami from 948 AD. Legend has it, he used to sit on the beach and use the ocean as an oracle. The god from this shrine actually lives in the cave behind the shrine, but you can't get into it. The last 10k coming into Wakayama is pretty nice once we could get off the main roads. If you want to have a baby, this is the shrine you need to come to. It specializes in pregnancy. It's a good place to pray if you want an easy childbirth as well. So if you don't fancy an epidural, maybe this is the shrine you need to come and pray at. Apparently it's good for sailing too. And now it's time to head to Osaka. Cannot take this anymore. 